फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट रेलवेज रोड्स एंड रिवर्स आर द लाइफ लाइन ऑफ आवर कंट्री आई फील प्रिविलेज टू प्रजेंट द फर्स्ट कंबाइंड बजट ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट इंडिया दैट इनक्लूड्स द रेलवेज ऑल्सो वी आर नाउ इन ए पोजिशन टू सिनर्जाइज द इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इन रेलवेज रोड्स वोटर वेज एंड सिविल एविएशन फॉर टू थाउजेंड सेवनटीन एटीन द टोटल कैपिटल एंड डेवलपमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ रेलवेज हैज बीन पैक्ड एट वन लैख थर्टी वन थाउजेंड करोड्स दिस इनक्लूड्स रुपीज फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड करोड्स provided by the government among other things the railways will focus on four major areas namely one passenger safety two capital and development works three cleanliness and four finance and accounting reforms for passenger safety a rastriya रेल संरक्षा कोष विल बी क्रिएटेड विद अ कोर्पस ऑफ रुपीज वन लैख करोड़ ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ फाइव ईयर्स बिसाइड्स सीड कैपिटल फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट द रेलवेज विल अरेंज द बैलेंस रिसोर्सिस फ्रॉम देयर ओन रिवेन्यूज एंड अदर सोर्सिस गवर्नमेंट विल ले डाउन clear cut guidelines and timeline for implementing various safety works to be funded from this coach unmanned level crossings on broad gauge lines will be eliminated by 2020 expert international assistance will be harnessed to improve safety preparedness and maintenance practices in the next 3 years the throughput is proposed to be enhanced by 10% this will be done through modernization and upgradation of identified corridors railway lines of 3500 kilometers will be commissioned in 2017-18 as against 2800 kilometers in last year steps will be taken to launch dedicated trains for tourism and pilgrimage railways have set up joint ventures with nine state governments 70 projects have been identified for construction and development a beginning has been made with regard to station redevelopment at last 25 stations are expected to be awarded during this year for station redevelopment 500 stations will be made differently abled friendly by providing lifts and escalators it is proposed to feed about 7000 stations with solar power in the medium term a beginning has already been made in 300 stations works will be taken up for 2000 railway stations as a part of 1000 megawatt solar mission our focus is on swachh rail sms based clean my coach service has been started it is now proposed to introduce coach mitra facility a single window interface to register 
all coach related complaints and requirements for the facility of passenger as such by 2019 all coaches of indian railways will be fitted with bio toilets pilot plants for environment friendly disposal of solid waste and conversion of biodegradable waste to energy are being set up at new delhi and jaipur railway stations five more such solid waste management plants are now being taken up today indian railways face stiff competition from other modes of transportation which are dominated by the private sector transformative measures have to be undertaken to make indian railways competitive to retain their position of preeminence the following steps will therefore be taken one railways will implement end to end integrated transport solutions for select commodities through partnership with logistics players who would provide both front and back end connectivity rolling stocks and practices will be customized to transport perishable goods especially agricultural products two railways will offer competitive ticket booking facility to the public at large service charge on e tickets booked through irctc has been withdrawn cashless reservations have gone up from 58% to 68% 3 as part of accounting reforms accrual based financial statements will be rolled out by march 2019 it will be our continuous endeavor to improve the operating ratio of the railways the tariffs of railways would be fixed taking into consideration cost quality of service social obligations and competition from other forms of transport metro rail is emerging as an important mode of urban transportation a new metro rail policy will be announced with a focus on innovative models of implementation and financing as well as standardization and indigenization of hardware and software this will open up new job opportunities for our youth a new metro rail act will be enacted by rationalizing the existing laws this will facilitate greater private participation and investment in construction and operation an effective multimodal logistics and transport sector will make our economy more competitive a specific program for development of multimodal logistics parks together with multimodal transport facilities will be drawn up and implemented select airports in tier 2 cities will be taken up for operation and maintenance in the ppp mode airport authority of india act will be amended to enable effective monetization of land assets the resources so raised will be utilized for airport upgradation for transportation sector as a whole 
including rail, roads, shipping. I have provided rupees two lakh crores this year. This magnitude of investment will spur a huge amount of economic activity across the country and create more job opportunities. This has been the one of the important landmark aim as per Government of India right now. Stop.